Hi there, son of Aries. This is Kim here to do your reading for you for the next 48 hours. Thanks for joining me. We are going to do tarot today. Maybe not the whole, maybe not like the Celtic cross, but we will draw some tarot today. So I hope you're doing really good. Please like and subscribe if you do. And let's begin. And you can always join me on the quantum level by uh, joining when I imagine divine white light connecting to source and then coming through the crown chakra, through our chakra energy centers, down to the core of the earth, and I imagine it going back up again and back through the energy centers. Okay, so channel messages, um, oracle cards, and a little bit of tarot too. So let's go calling in your spirit guides, angels, divine white light. Divine white light, moonology, manifestation, oracle cards is what I grabbed first. Okay. Last quarter moon in Scorpio. Reveal what needs to be seen. Reveal what needs to be seen. All right. All right, Aries, reveal what needs to be seen. Yeah, it says there are some things that people just don't talk about. And drawing this card suggests that there's an issue or a situation in your life now that might not be easy to air. Or perhaps you feel you shouldn't air it at all. Yeah, that's fine. Now is the time for you to reveal only what needs to be seen. Don't feel the matter to discuss everything with everyone. Some matters require discretion. The less codependent you are, the better chance of getting what you want. You have of getting what you want. Nice. Manifesting mix. There are two forces at play and neither one wants to budge. Strong is good and stubborn is a problem. Hmm. Basically staying out of dramas and feeling like you have, there's not really a need to talk about some things with people. Um, this can be your dreams. It, it can be the most sensitive topics or sensitive things that are going on in your life, whatever, however, whatever lessons you learned or however you learn. Some things don't need to be aired up. Okay, so Aries going on. Moving on. The Witch's Oracle. You might be dealing with a Scorpio too, though. And reveal what needs to be seen. I have the Witch's Oracle for Aries. Keeper of Secrets. Okay, that's a good one. That's an interesting one to get. The Raven. Like uh, the all blackbirds here. Let's see. 31. The Raven. The Keeper of Secrets. Hmm. All right. This is vibrating for you at a soul level. Occult knowledge. Magic. Mastery. The raven, like the crow, then that's what I was thinking, a magpie, is a magical bird. It is a keeper of occult secrets that inspire the soul. Associated with the dark goddess, the raven is also the bird of the Celtic king, Bran the, the Blessed, whose head is buried at the site of the Tower of London. Legend has it, should ravens leave the tower, the monarchy would fall. Yeah, it says the raven here ends up coming to you at times when the veil is thin between your worlds. Wow, okay. It says, Aries, trust any visions that you're having at this time and know that the nature of light is to penetrate darkness in order for uh, integration to take place. You are in the pro process of shedding light upon situations in your life and are being initiated into the mysteries. Keep secrets and hold your tongue. High note, occult gifts are being activated. 
shadows on the soul would require attention. I'm also getting like that, the spiral manifestation, you know, the golden ratio, the way that we, um, well, the way it for sure spirit manifests is, is like a spiral, like, like the shell. Um, yeah. So occult gifts being turned on for manifesting so that you manifest what it is that you want to manifest. You know, I think I put this up here and then we're going to get a smaller, my smaller cards. Okay. So that's interesting. Interesting. You could probably include all of the clairs in that, right? The Epiphany, Epiphany deck from Etsy for fairies. All that wants to come out of that deck. All truth will be revealed. Reveal what needs to be seen. All truth will be revealed. And reminiscing on past precious moments. Past precious moments. Oh, okay. Maybe these two. Water, emotions, feelings to replenish. So you're really in your feelings. Your emotions, trust your emotions and how you feel around some situations. That's your, um, it's your instincts trying to kick in here. Your intuition. Red maple leaf, seasons, time lapse, and cycles. All truth will be revealed. Reminiscing on past precious moments. Coffee beans, are you awake? Awake, snooze, wake up call, a fresh start. Snooze, wake up call, a fresh start. Anything else? Fairy, wishes fulfilled, dreams and innocence. Nice. Nice, I like that. All right. All right, let's see here. Let's get something from the Lover's Oracle for Aries. Next 48 hours. I have a sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. And, ah, a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Honor and treasure your relationship. It is truly sacred. Honor and treasure your relationship. It is truly sacred. Hmm. Okay. Moving right along. You know what? I think, I think we can probably go to... The tarot now. Yeah. All right. Four Aries. Let's see. We get a tarot reading for Aries. All right. What's the issue with Aries? What's the issue? Two of Swords. There's, um, it feels like a decision that needs to be made. Um, two is about choices. And the swords are about the mind. Um, decision, a choice, yeah. Um, postponing, possibly making, like it could be talking about some kind of still weighing the options. So you may be postponing making a decision. It might be one of those very hard decisions to make where no matter what you do, somebody ends up feeling kind of hurt. It can be something like that. What is the challenge? The nine of swords in the reverse. So the challenge is to let go of um, that energy of the negative thinking. 
All right. Past. Page of Cups. So I think there was hope for a new beginning here in the past. Hopeful for a new beginning. Trying to get rid of those negative thinking. Or just don't give seeds to thoughts. Um, you don't want to force something to not come out. Because then it just stays. It, it persists. So you want to integrate it. Okay, what is the now moment? Now moment. Knight of Wands in the reverse. You feel like somebody made a really careless decision. Yeah, the Knight of Wands in the reverse is something that was irresponsible, um, immature, or a reckless action. Okay, so what's underlying, underlying this? What's underlying this? The root... Uh, the issue for Aries. Queen of Cups in the reverse. At the root of this, you need to take better care of yourself. That's pretty much what's coming out is the Queen of Cups is in reverse, meaning we're not loving ourselves optimally. When we love ourselves the most we can possibly love ourselves, we start to see that reflected. So if you're not seeing that, then we need to ask why we're not giving more to ourselves. Um, you may want to look into, you know, some kind of um, healing modality to like Reiki or something like that. It could be talking about um, going through a time where you're having to try to take care of yourself and, and feeling kind of not that great. All right. So I don't think you're feeling too, too great here underlying everything like at the heart of the matter here the root of this what's to come six of coins well it's the success card it's in the reverse so i feel like somebody hang on let me get another one it feels kind of like um okay five of swords it's in the reverse so Something feels like it's just not, it's not ever going to be fair. And the, I don't know, it's like in the way that karma works, like, I feel like you're feeling like something needs to be made right when um, really the main advice is just to duck, kind of duck out because you don't want to, you don't want to be part of the drama. Only reveal what needs to be seen. Um, this could cause, this is coming across as avoiding drama, and that is good. That is really, really good. <laughs> that's what you want. All right, so that's what I got for you, uh, my Aries. Let's do another card here. Let's get something from the Southern Oracle, and then I will get you... the oracle genetic gifts i have swamp angel nuisance gossip hassle somebody freeloading or opportunism somebody trying to take an opportunity okay um 10 swinging on the front porch good times cozy feeling to slow down to be in nature to be thankful thankfulness and I was going to get one of these genetic oracle gifts here. The spiritual arts, artist, designer, singer, sculptor, astrology. Ancestral knowledge, ancestral knowledge. The spiritual arts, artist, designer, singer, sculptor, um, astrology, ancestral knowledge. So you have the knowledge here. Then that might be stuff that is um, being activated at this time, or like hidden gifts that may have something to do with astrology. Um, or a reader, advisor, photographer, energy reader, energy reader, nice, and camping, youth director, spiritual support, to educate, to lead by example, or to volunteer, I love that, okay, so we're gonna put that here, 
All right. And that is what I've got for you. On the bottom, I, I'll just let you know, I saw Dark Knight of the Soul, Path of Initiation is on the bottom of the deck. So that's what I've got for you all. Sending you love and light. Bye, Aries.